season? Yeah, so this season has been an incredible season. Uh, two big highlights, many highlights, but two big highlights. Our first ever race in Tokyo, in Japan. Tickets sold out within minutes after putting them on sale. An incredible event, very kindly supported by the Prime Minister of Japan, the Governor of Tokyo, full stands, Nissan, one of our manufacturers, as you can imagine. Lots of waving flags, lots of support there. The second highlight was being back in China. So we hadn't raced in China since COVID-19. This year we were in Shanghai, back in China. Very important moment for us. They're leading the EV revolution. And throughout all of those, those moments, the competition has been bubbling along. And it's been very tight all year. And we find ourselves going into the last race weekend with theoretically, mathematically, seven drivers that could still win the championship. And I think three teams that could still win the championship and two manufacturers that could win the manufacturer's championship. So it's all to play for. And even if the current leader wins race one, there are still three drivers that could still win the championship as we head into the very final race. It's been the most competitive season ever. Over 200 race overtakes in Monaco. Compare that to Formula One, the top 10 cars in Formula One in Monaco, not a single overtake. So I think everything we're famous for, you know, we're a close combat motor race, very tightly matched cars, elbows out, lots of competition on the track. We've seen that in spades uh, throughout this season and it won't change this weekend. If anything, I'd expect it to reach a peak this weekend. Next year's car, uh, 3.5, yeah. has more acceleration than yeah. Formula 1. Yeah, crazy acceleration. So we'll get to 100 kilometers in about 1.82 seconds, uh, 60 miles an hour for those who are in miles, not kilometers. That's about 30% faster than the current Formula 1 car. So all wheel drive for the first time ever in a car, new and improved chassis, new design, and that, that all wheel drive on acceleration is blisteringly fast. So this will be the fastest ever Formula um, car produced by the FIA. Wow, and a very attractive calendar as well. Oh, the calendar's great. So we, we have one race we haven't announced on the, the calendar yet, but watch this space. It will announce it very shortly. We're in Miami in the US and we have double headers in Tokyo. So we're doing back to back races. Ticket sales so strong. We're racing Saturday and Sunday. And for the first time ever in the history of Monaco, we'll race on both days of the weekend. They've never have a, had a motor race over two days. So really, really cool. And back in Jakarta in Indonesia, big market for us. We're back there after a year's gap.